Okay, the Pegasus 38. So this is the 38 iteration of the famous Nike Pegasus lineup. What have they changed? Well, the only thing really is the upper. And they've kept everything else. So the React foam here on the midsole and the rubber still intact from last year. Nothing has changed there. There was problems last year from some users complaining about uh, heel slippage and uh, getting blisters after runs. Now, personally, having used the Nike Pixel 37 for all my long runs for two separate training blocks for marathons, I didn't have those issues. I felt it was a great shoe and an all round workhorse. But this year they've changed up because of those complaints. And so now it's a thicker, a very thick upper really. Um, but it actually feels a lot nicer than last year's. Again, it's heavier, it's thicker, but it allows you to get a better lockdown in your foot when you're running, which is great. And it's an improvement upon last year, so that's a good thing. Um, the 10 millimeter drop is still here. Uh, it's 10 ounces of weight, which is slightly heavier than last year's iteration. And everything else has stayed the same, bar the look, it looks different from last year's iteration. This is what the 37 looked like. And yeah, 38, so a bit different. Um, so that's it folks, for the initial um, breakdown of the shoe. Now let's go on to the pros and cons, in my opinion, of the 38. Okay, the pros. So what's good about the shoe? Well, many things. For me, mainly, it's the cushioning. To me, this is a long run shoe. I have ran with a 37, a 38, on many long runs. For two separate training blocks, my long runs, I, I've used the Pegasus 37 for my long runs. And I know this perform as well as a 37 purely because this contains the same midsole and the same outsole of the shoe. So I know it's gonna do well. Um, so for me, that's the main, um, yeah, the main positive for this shoe. Just its overall cushioning and its durability. Mainly because the last thing you want in a long run is a shoe with a very thin midsole. Your feet will be destroyed during it and after it and it'll take you days to recover. With this shoe and a 37, they make your feel, they make your feet feel great um, during and after the run. So that's it in terms of my first pro. The second would be the price. It's 120 euro, which some people would find that expensive. But for me, you know, knowing that there's been so much research put into the shoe and so much knowledge, and the fact that you can wear it anywhere. I mean, obviously it's a running shoe, so it's made for running, but you can use it going to the shops or just going around town. It looks great. And you know, that's really my third thing, the looks. It, it's just fantastic. And overall, you know, it can really shine as any shoe. Like if you want to, you know, look fashionable, then again, personal preference, but I feel this would definitely do it. So that's, that's it overall in terms of my pros. My cons now, the first thing would be the heavy upper. I just feel that, yeah, um, it's definitely, it adds weight to the shoe. This shoe is heavier than last year, which is never a good thing, but in terms of the upper, it feels heavy. It's not meant for, you know, those long hot runs. Um, you know, it doesn't work well in heat and it's definitely a step backwards, which I feel, you know, it should be lighter but overall it does add a lot of pros as well so it's hard to kind of give it a, a negative you know um, review when you know that it does help with heel slippage it helps with the overall lockdown on the shoe so you know for me it's a slight negative but it does help with other runners you see i never had those issues with heel slippage or with blisters in my feet that other users had of the 37 so for me it is slightly negative this new upper but you know Depends on runner, of course. And the second con I have here really would be the weight. It's heavier than the 37. And I think an issue company which makes, you know, a sequel to a shoe or a new iteration to a shoe and 
it's heavier than the last, I think is a step backwards. But that's in terms of my my cons. I think it's a great shoe overall, and you know I will give a more in-depth review as time goes on. But overall, for me, it's a fantastic, uh, fantastic shoe, and it's well worth the price. So folks, that was my first impressions review of the shoe. I'll do more detailed review come, you know, when I have done 50 miles on the shoe. But that's it for this one. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you very soon.